Hey, what's going on? This is Big Zo Twenty. Once again, here you guys. Uh, um, I'm just not. It's not I'm not gonna do a full recap. I'm just gonna do a little bit section by section recap of some shows that you guys wanted me to kind of weigh in on the last couple of episodes of them or whatever, whatever. Starting off, of course, with Bad Girls Club season five, with the whole um, Brandy versus Leah is she and winning Brandy leaving the house bitch Brandy leaving the house am I upset no I'm not upset actually all them bitches can leave because I'm over with these I'm dying and over with these bitches these bitches have been written their story has been told and actually I think they only have a couple of episodes left because you know that girls club only has like a 13 or 14 episode run so I'm glad I'm glad they only have a couple of episodes left so these bitches can go ahead and just die that's horrible. But I'm just saying, they can just go ahead and move on with their little meth, meth head, pothead, crackhead lives. That's what they should do. That's exactly what they should do. Leah is a fake ass bitch. She is. Okay, she came into the house and, like, she's all cool and shit. Like, she's gonna be the girl that everybody's gonna be able to chill with, but she's just gonna, gonna get on her bad side. Let me tell you what Leah did. Leah went, sat back in the rafters and let, and saw who was the punks and who was the dominators. She saw that Katya, Morgan, and Kristen were the dominators. She saw that Danielle, Erica... Mm, why is that bitch so ugly? I can't stand Erica. Erica is so ugly. It's not the off face. I just want to throw up. Anyway, she saw that they were the fucking punks. So she waited until Morgan and Cassia left, and then she stepped up and started doing her love. She stepped up and, oh, honey, she was, she was, she stepped up and tried to be the queen diva. But it's not working, Leah, because you know why? You know why it's not working, Leah? Because you just look like a punk to me, too. There's only so many times that somebody's gonna throw something, and it's gonna hit me, or somebody's gonna like, get all over my face and shit, and I'm just gonna knock your ass out. Anybody can call themselves a bad bitch and throw shit at somebody. Oh, you throwing uh, water and shit in Christina's face or whatever that girl, that new girl was. Oh, you you yelling, talking, you gonna fuck um, Brandy up, all this shit. Bitch, be bound it and do it. Be bound it and do it. And then I'll be like, Leah, you deserve it to be the bad bitch in the house. Now, I don't really like Kristen myself, but I'll give Kristen her damn props. Kristen has stepped up many times, and according to this, the next episode that's about to happen, it looks like she might be whooping Leah's ass. She hit Leah first. I, we just see. We'll just see, you guys. We'll just see. But as far as Brandy, first of all, I, do I have to watch another one of these damn episodes of these bitches getting into arguments with their fucking panties and getting... Oh, Brandy, come on now. I just want someone to lay Brandy out. Come on! Girl, tell me what you want to do. Tell me what you want to do, bitch. Tell me what you want to do. Ugh, somebody get this herpes infested bitch up out of here. Brandy is what you call pathetic. Ever since Brandy, ever since everybody knows saw that Brandy wasn't about it, about it, she went and about it, about it, she went and about it, about it, her stock done fucking fell in the fucking house. So, nobody ain't worried about Brandy. So, that's my be I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about Erica and her ugly face. Um, uh, moving on, moving along to Jersey Shore, the, the, um, season just finished airing, or whatever, whatever, um, I, I have to admit, my friend did get me into this show, it was like a guilty pleasure, but there are two people on, on that show that I really want to weigh in on, first of all, I want to weigh in on Mike's ass. Mike, the situation, Mike, the situation. Now, I'm going to tell you this. All y'all, all these motherfuckers don't like each other. I'm sorry, they just really don't. I think the only ones who really do like each other are Polly and Minnie. Maybe Ronnie in that equation, too. Mike don't like none of them. Jenny and Snooki like each other, but they don't like the rest of them either. So all y'all talk shit about each other. But why not confront the main motherfucker who was talking shit, which is Mike's situation? Are y'all scared of his ass? Is, his face, is he look so old that y'all kids can't, you know, walk up to him? Buck up to him? I would have thought Ronnie at least, when Mike called Ronnie out at that table, and was like, ooh, Ronnie, you know, the first couple weeks here, we should have gave you an award for the shit that you was doing. And Ronnie was like, ooh, Lemonhead. 
And Sammy was sitting there looking like, well, I can't stand Sammy anyway. Sammy is a pristy little bitch. Oh, my God. When Snooki asked Sammy to, oh, Sammy, can you cook up? My thing is this. If you know a bitch don't like you, why the fuck are you going to ask her to come out, come out there and ask her to cook tacos with you? I, is that your white flag? I mean, yeah, we had a conversation the other day, but you know that she still don't like you. Why are you going to ask her? Snooki, you stupid bitch. So, and that leads me all down to Snooki. That whole argument that happened with Polly, Benny, Snooki. First of all, let me, let me backtrack to that fight between Snooki and Angelina. Um, that, Polly, no, okay, so supposedly when Mike, um, when Mike was talking shit about Jenny was saying Jenny's the fakest bitch in the house, she talked shit about everybody, I can't stand her, blah, 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 and supposedly everybody nodded, I didn't see not one motherfucker in there nod, and the camera was right on everybody, I didn't see nobody nod, I saw everybody go like, Mike's just talking shit. I think that's what they chalk it up to. That was, nobody don't pay Mike no attention. Mike is that loser who thinks he's cool, but realizes that he isn't, so he's a bitter, he's like really, really bitter. That's what Mike's problem is. That's what he is. But Mike, honestly, well, you didn't think that you better than Vinny, but then when those girls wanted to give Vinny, um, those girls was obviously giving Vinny play before you did, and then he turned them down, and you had to tear him, you had to go and swoop in on his rejects, uh, that is nasty. First of all, that's nasty, and that is just... That's just pathetic! It's pathetic! It's so pathetic. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry. I am I zone out for a second because I know someone in real life like him, and it is just so pathetic. Anyway, but Snooki, for you to go to Jenny and say, Oh, right now I wouldn't trust nobody in this house because everybody agree with what Mike said. Everybody agree with what Mike said. Polly... Benny, all of them, and then when Jenny confronted they asked or whatever, no, 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 let me backtrack, the whole situation was just stupid as fuck, you told, um, Snooki told Jenny that Polly and Vinny was talking, you know, basically agree with Mike, and so instead of you going out there and being like, Polly and Vinny, did you agree with Mike, was y'all, when Mike was talking shit, Mike, why was you talking shit, no, you gonna take Mike into the room and was like, well, Polly is fake too, because... Polly did this. Jimmy, your stock done went down on my books too, bitch. You was a punk ass bitch too. I'm sorry. I used to ride for you, Jimmy. I still kind of do because I do like you. I I just don't know. I'm sorry. That was just stupid. Why the fuck you gonna take Mike into the room? Mike was the one talking shit. Mike was the one who goes back and talks shit. Mike was the one talking shit about you. You gonna take Mike into the room and be like, oh, well, Polly and Vinny is fake too because they was doing this and they was doing that. Jimmy, is you all right up here? Is that little fight between Sammy and you kind of get you disoriented in the damn house that you just couldn't think? I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. I will tell you one thing, though. When Polly was going off on Jimmy and Snooki, I was like, damn, Polly. Damn. I like damn Polly, um, Polly Del Vecchio. That's what's up. He was like, what? What? Who said that? I was like, damn, Polly getting gangsta is kind of sexy. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. I met how everybody was talking shit about Sammy when Sammy didn't say goodbye to Jenny, but did Jenny make an effort to say goodbye to Sammy? I thought I was the only one who noticed that. Moving down to the real world challenges. Now, someone asked me to do recaps on that, that fucking show or real world New Orleans that was just on. I don't do I don't do real world. I actually have not done real world since real world Las Vegas. Real World Las Vegas was my, my favorite one. I loved it. But I have not actually I like real world Denver too. But I have not done a real world since I've not really watched Real World since those, those those seasons. And I'm gonna tell you why. Real World to me is fake as fuck. I don't, and I'm not saying that the people on there are fake, I'm saying that the situation that the producers set up is fake. I feel like if you're in Real World New Orleans, or if you're in Real World Brooklyn, um, 
You know, what's the last place you were in? Um, I think they were, I think they've been in Atlanta before. I'm not sure. Um, why would you have a predominantly white cast of characters? And I'm not trying to say that the real world people are racist, because obviously real world Hollywood they have a lot of ethnic people on there as well. But my thing is this: it's always like there's a token ethnic person, a token gay or transgender person. Or, and a token person who has an extreme situation like OCD or a life-threatening disease or some shit like that. That is fake to me, and I think that is exploitation. And I just don't, and I just don't really respect real world for doing that. Now, let's go on to real world challenges. Why I don't like them? Real world challenges is nothing but a bunch of fucking losers who realize they should have been on a, a better reality show like, um, Survivor or um, Big Brother or something better. Hell, even Flavor of Love. They realize they should have been on something better and no. But they decided to hash it out on motherfucking uh, real world challenges. Y'all motherfuckers need to move on with your damn life. Some of y'all have been on this damn show since the fucking late 90s. That is sad. That is 10 motherfucking years. You don't ask to be sitting at home with your wife and kids just chilling. That is 10, oh my god, y'all, that is just, it's pathetic to me, bunch of fucking losers. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to talk, I'm, I'm, I, 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 ugh. If any of y'all know anybody on this show, please don't get offended, I just don't like it, I just don't like the whole situation. I, if I was on Real World, I would not go on Real World Challenges every fucking year for the next 10 years. For what? For the money? It's not even for the money anymore. It's not even for the money. It's not even for the money. I, I don't know what they do it for. They, they fight. They drink. They fight. They fuck. They fight. They throw up. They fight. You know, and they be fighting over stupid shit, too. So, no, I don't watch the World Challenges. So, no. No, 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 no. I don't watch the World Challenges because they, um... That, that's the first show where I would say, um, somebody actually scared the shit out of me on that show. What does this dude, CT? Hell nah. I, um, I, I, I won't throw bowls with him. I will throw bowls with anybody else on that motherfucking show. But I would not throw no bowls with CT. I would take out a gun and shoot his motherfucking ass. Don't fuck with me. That nigga, no, woo. That's, that motherfucker was scary as fuck. For no reason. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this, this is my little recap session. Um, I would have recapped Fantasia for real, but there was nothing to recap about. 